Hello. Good day. And in this uh, virtual class, uh, essentially, uh, I'm going to take us through a uh, simultaneous uh, equation. Okay? What is an equation in the first place? Uh, an equation is simply uh, or simply means uh, a statement uh, showing that two uh, quantity or two statements or two expressions are the same. That's the meaning of expression. You know, showing that two uh, expression or statement are the same. But in this case, uh, the kind of equation we're going to look at is the one uh, we call uh, simultaneous. By simultaneous, it simply means that you are trying to solve uh, some pairs of equations. Mm? It could be a two of pair of equation, three pair of equation uh, with either two unknown or three unknown. Okay, that is the meaning of uh, simultaneous uh, equation. So, an equation, a two, a two linear equations of the form as plus r uh, plus b y uh, is equal to c and ds plus e y is equal to f uh, is a typical example of simultaneous equations where a b c d e and f we refer to them as what they are constant they are called what constant where uh, the x and y in this uh, equation is what we refer to as the unknown now in this place we see that uh, we have the ax in equation one and uh, we have by in equation one as well now the 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 a and the b here the a that multiply x we call it the coefficient so in mathematics a coefficient is uh, a constant that multiplies the unknown so here in equation one we have a uh, ax the a that multiply s is called coefficient y the b that multiply y is also called a uh, coefficient of y so the in equation one we have uh, an equation one and equation two the coefficient of x is a and d y that of uh the coefficient of uh y in equation uh, one and two is b and e like i said the coefficient is the number that multiply uh, uh, an unknown okay it's a constant that multiplies an unknown okay here in this class we are going to look at how to solve uh, simultaneous uh, equations so we have um, um, three methods uh, that are used to resolve uh, equations uh, involving simultaneous one we call it uh, what we call the elimination method and the other one we call it a uh, substitution method and the the very last one is called graphical uh, method but in this uh, class we are going to look at the elimination uh, method okay so like i have explained here i said a pair of equation uh, with two unknown two or more three unknowns uh, to be determined uh, at the same time is called a simultaneous uh, equation so okay now let's move on let's move on let's look at how to solve um, simultaneous equation using elimination uh, method okay so here we're going to look at this we're going to use this elimination Uh, elimination uh, method elimination method like i said i said we have it uh, three types of method but here we are going to use elimination uh, methods now in the elimination method as you mean we have our equation of this form ax plus by is equal to c and here dx plus ey is equal to what f okay So equation one and equation two and we want to do elimination method now let's look at the procedure 
Now, in the elimination method, uh, to eliminate means to get rid of. To get rid of. So here, like I said, the unknowns here are x and uh, and y. So here, we have to look at these two unknown. And the first thing we do is to choose which one do we intend to eliminate. Is it y or is it x? So the first step is that we need to choose. So we choose, we choose the, the unknown uh, to be eliminated. You're known to be eliminated. That's the first thing you do first. Are you going to eliminate Y or X? So having done that, the next step is, uh, the next step is to look for uh, the coefficient. Uh, coefficient. The coefficient of the unknown. The coefficient of the unknown in step one. In step one, uh, both both in equation one and equation two so that is the next step so, okay then the other step is that we use the coefficient uh, the coefficient in step two step two of equation two to multiply multiply that of equation 1 and uh, the coefficient the coefficient of of step 2 the coefficient of step 2 in equation 2 to to multiply equation okay the coefficient of step 2 to multiply equation 1 and the coefficient of step 2 in equation 2 to multiply equation 1 so that is step 3 then the step 4 is how do we now because we want to eliminate in these situations what we need to do is to see that uh, we have to look at the sign of the unknown that we are choosing the sign in both equations okay so if the signs are different that means if this plus minus what we need to do we add now if the signs are the same if it is plus plus or minus minus all we need to do is to do what is to is to subtract okay now let me let me make it very clear here what we are trying to do here is this now given a pair of simultaneous equations and you tend to eliminate what you need to do here is this uh, the first thing you need to do as if we want to eliminate uh, y for instance in this situation we want to eliminate y okay we are choosing that we want to eliminate y now we, that is the first thing we are eliminating y the first step so we are eliminating y in this way the next step is that we will come to this y we that is our step two we look at the coefficient of y in equation one here the coefficient of y here of y in equation one is what is b and uh, the coefficient of y in equation one equation one let me do it very well properly a coefficient of y in equation one uh, is b and that of y in equation 2 is is e so that's the first thing you have to look at okay okay so the coefficient of y let's go by let me write it um 
2 equation 1 equation 1 the coefficient of y here is a what is b then in equation 2 coefficient of y there is um, is e that is the step 2 we need to do here so the coefficient like i said is the number that multiply it's a constant that multiplied uh an unknown in an e equation okay so having done that what you need to do is step three like i've written down before is for you to use uh the coefficient of of y in equation one to multiply equation two okay so now we are saying equation two we say equation two uh, uh times b and equation one uh times what times e that's what i mean yeah yeah we want to eliminate now what we need to do here we, we come here we say in equation one the coefficient of y want to eliminate y so we're going to multiply the whole of equation one by e so this will become e a x plus e b y is equal to c times e here become a new equation this is equation now equation three so here we come again we look for the equation the coefficient of b here we're going to use it to multiply equation two so here we say uh, here will now become uh, b dx uh, plus b e y is equal to b times what times f this become equation four as you can see you will now see that this one is the same thing as e b y this one is the same thing as e b y okay and like I said, in step four, what you need to do is to see. Now, look at the sign here in equation three. This is addition. This is what addition. So if the signs are the same, what you usually do is to subtract. So do what? Is to what? Subtract. From here, we can see. If we are going to subtract here, here we're going to become E A X minus B D X E b y minus e b y they have already what uh off so here what we're going to have here c e will become c e minus b f okay here s is common we say x open bracket a a e a e minus b d we close it here we have a c e minus b f and your x here become um, C E minus B F all over all over what A E minus B D okay that is elimination method okay here we'll be able to obtain the value of X okay because I'm just using uh, this variable now let's go into the um, um, using um re-value re-value okay okay assuming we're asked to resolve uh this question i say solve um this simultaneous equation okay solve um or solve solve um here yeah, we have um okay five x have a five x 5x minus 4y equals, equals 6 as equation 1 and here we have a 2x 2x uh, plus 3y is equals to 7 as equation 2 okay and we want to use what we call the elimination method here we want to eliminate y we want to eliminate y the first step is that you choose which of these two or no you want to eliminate is it x or y that's the first thing you do okay now if we choose that we're going to eliminate y then the next step is that we we'll look at equation one what is the coefficient of y what number multiply y here is four hmm? huh? then the coefficient of 
y in equations 2 is 3. What we need to do, we're going to reverse. We use this coefficient here to multiply the whole of this. And we use the coefficient of y in equation 2 to multiply the whole of uh, equation 1. That is step 2. So here we see um, this will become um, 3 uh, bracket 5x. Okay, let me just do, do, do it straightforward. 3 times 5x plus, uh, okay, minus 3 times 4y is equal to 6 times 3. Okay, and this become uh, another equation, equation 3. Okay, so here we become 15x uh, minus 12y is equal to 18. This is our equation 3. So I've done that. Then we come to we look what the coefficient of y in the equation one. Y in equation one is is um, four. So we get to use this one, this four, to multiply equation two. So here we come uh, four times two x plus four four times three y. 4 times 3y, then um, 4 times 7. This become equation 4. See, by the time we do this, we have a 8x uh, plus 12y is equal to what? 28 equation 4. Okay? Now, if we we, we cannot rewrite these two equations, um, this is, um, okay, let's bring equation 3 here. Equation 3 is of uh, 15 x minus 12y is equal to what 18 now we have done step one our uh, step two and step three so, so in step four we said that which one do you intend to eliminate you have to choose that one then the next step is to know the coefficient of those of the unknown in both equations so you reverse it use the one of equation two to multiply the whole of equation one and the whole of equation one to multiply the whole of equation two having done that the next step which is step four you look at you the one you tend to eliminate why we are eliminating y here and we look at the sign here in equation of four in equation four the coefficient of sign here is plus and that of equation three is minus and i said that if the signs are different what you need to do is to add the equation so we here we're going to add so 15 x plus 8x or 8x plus 15s that will give us a uh, 23 x now 12 y plus minus 12 y and that becomes a uh, zero it's like we are saying 12 y minus 12 y and everything becomes a uh, zero now 28 plus 18 that will just give us a um, 46 Okay, from here, what do we need to do? We say divide both sides by what? We divide both sides, uh, both sides, both sides by, by the coefficient of x, which is 23, divide both sides by what? 23. So here we say 23 divided by what? Uh, 23. So we can write it here, 23, x uh, divide 23, then 46, Divided 23. So, uh, S, uh, 23 divided 23 is that become x. Now, 46 divided by 23, that will give us what? 2. Here, we have been able to obtain the value of y, you, uh, value of x uh, to be 2 by eliminating y. So, that means we have killed y so that we can obtain the value of x. Now, for us to uh, obtain x, what we usually do here is to see to substitute or put the value of x in either equation 1 or 2. Okay, so we can say put uh, the value of s into equation 1. Let's use equation 1. So here we have a equation 1 is 5x minus 4y is equal to 6. So this is 5. I will know the value of s to be 2, 5 times 2, minus 4y is equal to 6, okay? 5 times, 5 times 2 is 10, so I have a 10 minus 4y is equal to 6, okay? And uh, what do we need to do here? 
So we say um, add, look at add here. We say add minus 10 to both sides. Add what? Minus 10 to both, both sides. So if we say add minus 10 to both sides, so we have a minus 10 plus 10 minus 4y is equal to 6 minus uh, 10. So minus 10 plus 10, we go off. So we have a minus 4y. Then 6 minus 10 give us a um, minus a, a 4. Okay. Then for us to obtain y, we say divide both sides. Divide both sides. We say divide both sides. Divide both sides by, by minus 4. Okay. Uh, let me use quickly uh, minimize this space. Okay, let's let me make use of this place. So here we are having minus 4y is equal to minus 4 equals to minus 4. So what we say here is that we want to get only y, we divide both sides by what? By minus 4. By minus say what 4. So that y will become 1. So y is a 1. Y x is y s is a s is um 2. So we can say therefore s is 2 and y is equal to what? 1. We can check. We can check use either of this equation. If s is 2, 5 times 2 is 10. And y is 1. Uh, minus 4 times 1 is 4. So 10 minus 4 will give us 6. We can also check using uh, the other equation. So 2 times 2 is 4. And y is uh, 1. 3 times 1 is uh, 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7. So that shows that our equation is uh, correct. Okay. Now let's look at another example, you know, on how to resolve a elimination method. Okay. Now let's look at this equation. Okay. Another equation here. Uh, let's look at this. If we have, um, okay, if we have a um, Say so solve 2 to a plus 4b is equal to minus 10 uh, as our equation 1. And here we also have another equation uh, 3a plus b is equal to minus 5 as our equation 2. Okay, now we're having this as. An equation and we intend to use the elimination uh, method then how do we go about it okay here the first thing like I said is to choose which of the unknown you intend to eliminate here we have two unknown here the two unknown are what the two unknown are what a and uh, and b okay now for instance let's eliminate b we are choosing to eliminate b okay then the next step is that we're going to look at the two equations and see the coefficient, the number that multiply b in both uh, equation. So in equation one, uh, in equation one, in equation one, the coefficient of b is four, and in equation two, the coefficient of b is uh, just one. So that is step two. So in our step three, what we usually do is that. The coefficient of of uh, b in equation two, we use to multiply the whole of equation one, and that of equation one, the coefficient of b in equation one, we use it to multiply the entire equation uh, uh, two. Okay, that's what we're going to do now. Since we have known that the coefficient of um, b in equation one is four, so we use four to multiply equation two. So here we say. Uh, equation 2 equation 2 uh, multiplied by what times 4 and the uh, equation 1 here will be multiplied by what by by 1 so that's what we're going to do now so here our equation 2 is to be multiplied by 4 and our equation 1 is to be multiplied by 1 so if we go with equation 1 first equation 1 times 1 so we say 1 times 2 a plus 1 times 4b is equal to uh, minus 10 times 1. 
okay this become a new equation equation 3 so here 1 times 2a is 2a uh, 1 times 4b is 4b and the 1 times minus l will give us minus uh, 10 this is our equation 3 then we do the same thing the equation 2 uh, multiply by 4 so here we say 4 times uh, 3a plus 4 times b uh, is equal to 4 times minus 5 uh, this become equation 4 so 4 times 3a that will give us 12a then 4 times b will give us 4b and then 4 times minus 5 that will give us minus uh, 20 so this is equation uh, 4 okay so now we've obtained our uh, equation okay two equations uh, from the previous one uh, using the coefficient of uh, b in equation 1 and 2 so let's combine the equation here let's let's bring the equation 3 here equation 3 is 2a uh, plus 4b is equal to minus 10 this is equation 3 okay here we are trying to eliminate uh, b so the excess of this using the coefficient of uh, this to multiply this is to see that uh, the, the the coefficient of b in equation 1 and 2 uh, become uh, the same that is the essence because we are trying to eliminate uh, we are trying to eliminate uh, uh, b so here what we need to do since the sign then the next step step 4 is that we look at the sign here the sign in in this um, the coefficient of what of the unknown we are trying to eliminate they are the same they are plus plus so if the signs are the same what we need to do is to do what is to subtract okay now we say 12a minus 2a 12a minus 2a that will give us essentially give us a 10a then 4b minus 4b uh, they are already gone so here the next step is that we are looking at minus 20 minus minus 20 minus which is this minus i'll have it in minus 10 here so this minus minus uh, at the middle become plus so here we have a minus 20 plus 10 and that will give us a um, uh, 10 minus uh, uh, 20 and that will give us a uh, minus 10 okay It'll give us what minus 10 10 minus 20 will give us a uh, minus 10 so having done that the next step is that what we say is say divide both sides divide what divide uh, both both sides by 10 by what by 10 so if we do that uh, this become uh, 10 e all over 10 is equal to uh, minus 10 divided by what by 10 divided by 10 and if we do that our a the value of a become minus 1 so having obtained the value of a to be minus 1 what do we do next we put this value in either of this equation either equation 1 or equation 2 okay so let's use equation 2 we say put the the value the value of a of a into equation 1 okay if we do that our equation 1 is 2a plus 4b so in place of a we put uh, minus 1 2 times minus 1 2 times minus 1 plus 4b is equal to minus uh, 10 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 4b is equal to minus uh, what 10 what we need to do here is to either collect like tens but how do we do that we can just say this is minus 2 here we add uh, plus 2 to both sides so that this minus 2 will be off so we say add add what 2 to both sides and if we do that we have a 2 minus 2 plus 4b is equal to minus 10 plus uh, what minus 10 plus uh, plus 2 so here we have a 4b minus 2 minus 2 is off and then minus 10 plus 2 will give us a uh, minus uh, 8 and the next thing is for us to divide both sides by 4 say divide 
uh, both sides side by what by 4 that is the coefficient of b so here we have a 4b divided by 4 is equal to minus 8 divided by 4 and that will give us a minus 2 so we we can uh, see that we can see that we can see that uh, a a is equal to minus 1 and b is equal to minus 2 so if we want to check for instance to see whether if our equation is our essentially correct we can use the other equation here so let's try using equation 2 uh, 3 times minus 1 uh, that would give us minus 3 okay here is minus 2 and so minus 3 minus 2 will give us minus 5 uh, this to certify that our answer is correct okay now we can you know uh, conclude here okay the summary of the whole class is that in elimination method the first thing you do you have to choose among the two unknown okay if the unknown is two yes you have to choose either of the one then having chosen the the unknown to be eliminated the next step is that you look at the, the coefficient the number that multiply the the one that you have already chosen in equation one and two so you reverse it okay the one of equation two you need to multiply the whole of equation one the whole of equation one you need to multiply the equation two so that uh you can now consider which one to be you know completely eliminated okay the essence of doing that is to see that the coefficient of the the two of the unknown you are choosing are made the same okay the next step is to look at the signs of the one you tend to eliminate if the, the signs are the same that means you are going to subtract but if the signs are different you are going to do what add and having obtained the value of one the next step is for you to substitute the value of the one that you have already obtained in either of the original equation either equation one or equation two to find the value of that one now in order for you to determine whether your answer is correct you can substitute put it in either of the equation to uh to see whether if you are correct okay now this is how we can go far so we can go in this class now let me give you one so that you can uh, partially uh, resolve this one it says solve the equation solve the equation um, um, x plus y is equal to is equal to equal to five. Then uh, s minus y is equal to uh, is equal to three. So, so you can do that one. So one equation two. Okay, you can do that one. So in my next class, what we're going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at uh, the substitution uh, method okay please uh, have a nice time until i see you in our next class